A lot of people are quick to think Christian music like, music like this is too heavy. But this is music for those who know and have been through spiritual warfare on a constant. And they are enraged with evil. Not in an unhealthy way, but with a fire of God. And some of us have a passion for God on all kinds of different frequencies. There's some people who can release their passion for God in hymns. There's some people who can release their passion for God in maybe Masonic Jew music. There's some people who can release their passion for God and express it in full with music like this. For example, I listen to music like, music like this. My story and everything I went through led me to this kind of music, not, and people are so quick to judge it based on what it looks like. The song talks about when, demon, when demons arise, we will kill them all. The Lord Jesus Christ is going to return with a crown of many diadems and following behind him will be many on white horses. His vesture will be dipped in the blood of his enemies and on his thigh it will say Lord of Lords and King of Kings. I say, you stand in that fire of God. If your passion for God is at such a burning fire of light in the darkness that the only way to describe how it feels is sometimes music like this and we can't judge people based on what they listen to okay there's not just only one certain type of music we can listen to and that's the only right music no you need to pay attention to what the lyrics are saying that's how you know if it's right now, I haven't heard this whole song yet, but I do enjoy music like this. I have been through hell on earth. <laughs> hell on earth. Hell on earth. And I stood alone with no one left to be, to be there for me. Everything was taken from me and it's dangled in front of my face every single day as a reminder that it's not truly there. It's just a piece of what is left. Now, I'm not being a negative Nancy, but I do know that whatever we give up for Jesus, when we are willing to follow him and put our faith in him and know that he's got it, he will renew tenfold. Everything that's been stolen from us by the enemy and by darkness, in a completely unrighteous way, Jesus not only is going to return it to you, but in a greater way than you can imagine. Jesus Christ is incredible. Incredible. And when I hear somebody playing on a guitar like in music like this, that is raw. I'm not talking about unhealthy rage or toxic rage. I'm talking about a pure fire for God. Simply that. I'm not the only one who's so fed up and disgusted with evil. We are supposed to hate evil and hate wickedness. We're supposed to love Jesus to the point we hate our own lives. Not in an unhealthy way, but in a righteous way. And the good thing and the most comforting thing about all this is Jesus knows our hearts. People can have their opinions and their assumptions all day long, but it is nothing compared to the fact that Jesus knows our hearts. He knows the truth of our hearts and he seeks the reins of our hearts and he sees all. He does not do things on his own will, but the will of the father. And he says he's one with the father. And the Father, he says that the Father is with him, him, and he is within the Father. They are interconnected, but separate, but still one. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word 
was with God and the Word was God. In the beginning was the Word. That's Jesus Christ. And the Word was God. Jesus Christ, the Word of God, is God. And the Word was with God. Jesus Christ was with God. It is a great, big, glorious picture. And it's hard for me to fully understand it. But I just know that God is going to allow it to make sense to all of us who know that God's almighty existence in general is so powerful it far surpasses what we can even fathom in the same way his love far, sur far surpasses our own understanding <laughs> all of you who are parents out there God even loves our children more than we do when I first heard that I was like wait a minute as a mom I was like uh, ex uh, excuse me <laughs> but then I was like wait a second I think I love that because I love my kids I would die for them if I gotta be a living human target to protect them so be it but the Lord our God loves our children even more and I absolutely love that because that is a God I can trust that is a God I can trust with my children's lives Oh, it's such a relief, and he is so holy. And we have every right to hate wickedness and hate evil and have a fire within us against it. Not of unhealthiness, okay? But this is just very serious. Not all Christian music is good. But not all Christian music that looks bad is bad. You can't judge a book by its cover. I saw a video on YouTube of a guy walking through the mall saying, Hey, how you doing? Would you like a, would you like a Bible? And he had tattoos and, you know, you could tell they were just judging him by how he looked. And in those Bibles he was trying to hand out was like $500, $600, $700. $700. And because they were judging him based on how he looked and being completely stereotypical and judgmental and ignorant and choosing to purposely lack in intelligence on purpose. Not only did they judge him unrighteously and unfairly, but he was trying to give them free Bibles. What is wrong with that? I don't care if somebody's covered in tattoos from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. You can't say handing out the word of God is wrong and you can't treat somebody like, no, I don't want it from you because you look strange because you have a lot of tattoos. No. 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 Look how they judged Jesus when it comes to the religious authorities. They were disgusted. And he spoke, Jesus spoke with such authority, it was undeniable to them. That's why they still continually sought to kill him and attack him through subtility. They killed him through subtility. Don't ever forget that. Satan and his most highest ranking weapon against us is when he is literally harming us in subtle ways. Pray that God removes your own perception and replaces it with his perception. Because we can lead our own selves astray and misunderstand things. We are not perfect. Point blank, period. It's not that you're supposed to hate yourself. You're supposed to come to the understanding that not even you yourself could ever understand. To live is Christ and to die is gain. I will deny myself and my own perception every day. And happily pray and ask God to replace my perception with his instead. How much more pure can you can you get how much more of a trustworthy thing can you find you can't and my trust is not in man it is in God and it's just beautiful God bless you all ready or not Jesus is coming soon
Maranatha. Love you guys.